Hey peeps, it's Andy Kuhn with FCProducer.com. Thanks for checking out this review of Photo Magical 4 from Boink Software. Now this was crafted by photographers for photographers. Award-winning Photo Magico is a slideshow tool of choice for thousands of photographers. Turn your pictures and movies into a powerful story with a few simple clicks and present it live in high resolution or share it in a variety of formats, including on your iPad, iPhone, website, or DVD with your customers or peers. Hey, let's go into this. All right. So this is what happens when you open it up. It's beautiful. It gives you choices. It makes things simpler for a ton of people. Uh, so you can choose it for the monitor. If you're going to play this on your you know, computer monitor for friends or family or whatever, it tells you the display and you could choose that. Or if you're showing it on TV, standard widescreen or projector. All these, I'm going to choose that one, but instead I'm going to chest. But instead, I'm going to suggest opening test. That's where my footage is. And let's get started on this. So the first one I'm going to show you how to do is the timeline or actually the functionality of the software. So this is Photo Magic 04 and where you'll be working. This is in storyboard mode. And you can see by the images just kind of clunked along together looking like a storyboard or your regular timeline if you're familiar with video editing interfaces. I'm gonna go back to storyboard, it's just cleaner for me. Um, next, you could use a blank slide you can add to it. You can also add titles to your slides. Uh, I'm not gonna add any titles or blank slides. So if you're curious about that, you could download this yourself and test it out, okay? Don't get on me. Now I'll show you how images, if you click on this, it's gonna close everything, you're just working right here. Click on images, and these are the folders where you just grab your images, normal aperture, iPhoto, and pictures folder that you normally have. Those are defaults. Or you can add your own by just dragging additional folders right here, and it'll appear right there, or right click and do add. I did that, and I added a folder called Keeper, and that's where I got all my images from. Next, you can also add movies to a slideshow, and that doesn't make any logical sense because it's a slideshow, but it's a great functionality to have because, you know, you don't have to use it. But if you want to use it, it's there. So that's great. And you can go in the same thing as your images. There's your iPhoto, iTunes, and Movies folder. And then you can also add additional folders right there. Same with audio. You can add your own audio. You have your GarageBand, iTunes, music, and you just drag and drop. And then you could do simple things. So let's get into this, and I'll show you a couple really cool things about it. Right now, everything is not animated it is all simple, just four seconds dissolve into the next one. So I'll show you real quick. Four seconds. It's gonna dissolve. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Now most people, most people would love that. People who are not professionals, but of course, even if you spend a hundred dollars on a pro on a product like this, you want some coolness out of your slideshow. So I'll show you how to get it. So make sure you click on your image right here. To activate it, click on options and it'll show slide and image. Now you on your actual image, you could do a lot of things. You can add a border to it, which I'm not. You could change the color, whatever you want to do, saturate it, desaturate it, brightness, darkness, and then you can also reset everything. You say that's just too much. You can also do visibility, bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna leave it alone. Now the slide itself, it's like I showed you earlier, it's not moving or anything. You can click on animation and it's gonna give you a Ken Burns effect right off the bat. Now this is how it's gonna start and this is how it's gonna finish. It's not gonna do anything because it's at the same place. Now let's start it having it zoomed in just a little bit and move it a little into the center. And then the finish is gonna be just like this. It's gonna zoom out to this. Now here's some key things in the image. Now we have the animation activated. I'm gonna go and do ease in, ease out. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna start slowly e or zooming out and then it's gonna slowly finish right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the beginning just a little bit, a few seconds, do the same thing on this side where we hold it. And then it'll slow, and then it'll zoom in and zoom out. And that's animation I have it en enabled right here. Make sure the continued is after duration because if you have a mouse, mouse click, when you hit play, you're going to have to click your mouse in order to do the transition. So I'm going to keep everything after duration. So I'm going to go into my next slide. 
or it's Kisa Baby. Now I'm going to hit animation again, and this time I'm going to have it already zoomed in, and it's going to zoom out. Actually, I'm going to rotate it like this, because she's like, oink. And then for this one, I'm going to zoom. Just like It's going to finish right there. And then I'm going to go to the next one, and we're going to enable this one. i got to zoom in and show this handsome devil. And then I'm going to zoom out just to that. That's fine. That's fine with me. Right now, let's zoom in even more to show how handsome he is. God, he's a good-looking guy. Um, is that enough? And you could tell by how much is 36% over here. That's 39%. Let's just go in more. That big goofy grin. All right. And now it's going to go to the next slide. This one is beautiful. I'm going to leave it as is and then do a slow zoom like that. Bring this down just a little bit. And then the next one I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to leave it static and just have a transition into this. And I forgot to mention, all the transitions are right here. Just make sure you activate this one or this one. And then the type is right here. You can do fade, cut, dissolve. Cut is just a straight cut, so you won't even have a, tran a transition. And you have all these other ones to mess around with and have fun. I like the simple dissolve, and I'm going to keep it there. Then the next one is going to go into this one, which I did a split screen. And I'm going to do an animation, and it's going to screw everything up. Animation, and it screws everything up. So now I had two things in here. <laughs> and what it does, it doesn't keep the two things from the way it was originally placed. Now you can figure this out on your own because you're smart. So I'm going to click on this one, on the Kisa Babe down here, and it says zoom 29%. So I can go ahead, zoom 29%. And then all I got to do is find it right there and it locks automatically and then move it a little. And these yellow lines indicate that it's in the same position. And then this one, I click on this one right here. It's at 25%, but it's in a different location. So let me move it up. Boom. It's in, it's in the location. Now the problem, oh no, it's in there. It has a border. Everything is not the same. Let me bring it down. There we go. Now it's in the perfect location. So now what I can do is now I can animate it after I put it in this in the specific location. I can animate this up. Put Kisa Baby right there. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to animate that down. Even though you're not going to see it, it's just going to go off screen a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more in those, those crazy doggy eyes. And... I'm going to do the animation again. I'm going to do the ease in, ease out, but I'm going to let it s sit for a second in the beginning, and then it's going to fade out. So the last one is just a video um, movie file. You could turn up the volume, but since I'm going to put audio underneath it, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to touch anything else in there. I just want the video file to play, and I'm going to move it up to about five seconds. Right, about five seconds. Great. Next is the audio. Click on audio, and I'm just going to grab a random, let's see, Technicolor Sleep, grab it and drag it, and just drop it right down there, and it's going to automatically put it down there, and then you're like, what the hell just happened? All these empty slides just, just popped in. So let's click on audio and go to options. Let's kill the lock timing. Let's go linked to slides, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this slide that has nothing on it, and we're going to go all the way down to the last slide, the blank slide. Click on that, shift click, delete it. Now the audio automatically goes to the last slide right there. And let's click on the audio again. And it's going to fade in, and it's going to fade out, but there's no volume. So I got to make sure that I turn up the volume. Let's make it about 70, eh, 90%. And that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get your slideshow. There are a couple functionality things that I wish you could do better. Um, but all in all, you can easily manipulate everything to work the way you want it to. So let's go back to the beginning and let's hit play. Oh, 
more, so good luck. Yeah, well, maybe I didn't like it how it ended. And the reason is probably because it's fade out to the end of this and it actually doesn't end right there. It kind of ends way back there, but you you you, you get it, I, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I got to mess around with it. This is like the first time I opened it. I just messed around and figured things out uh, on the whim. So I really highly recommend this to professionals, especially professionals. You could do this. Your video, your wedding photographer, get this. You can add so much value to your package if you add, I mean, you don't have to use this in your package. You go for an additional three or five hundred dollars. I could put a slideshow together with music of your choice and all the images that you select, and boom, you instantly add more money to your package. You can cancel out the video people at the same time, which you should because we're all jerks. Or if you're just, you know, a weekend photographer, this is a great thing to do to take some awesome pictures put it to music, and put it up on YouTube. And the great thing about all this is you can share, and it does everything for you. You can share to YouTube, iPhone, iPad, Apple TV. It encodes and puts it out there for you so you don't have to waste time. So let me try YouTube as an export. Resolution, I could select all these different ones. And I could select, just hit continue, choose your destination. I'm not going to do any of this because I really don't want to upload to YouTube with this garbage. I mean, the garbage I just did, not the not the program. I love the program. I think it's great. So check this out. I believe you can download it for free and try it. But you can go to boinks.com, which is b o i n x.com/photomagico and test it out yourself and see if you like it. So thanks for checking out this review tutorial of Photomagico 4 and I hope to see you soon. Peace people.